Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Whenever you work with Excel, you will enter information or content into cells. Now cells are the basic building blocks of a worksheet and you'll need to learn the basics of cell and cell content to calculate, analyze and organize data in Excel. Now a cell is the intersection of a row and a column. Now columns are identified by letters such as column A, column B, column C, while rows are identified by numbers like row 1, row 2, row 5 and so on. Now if you select a cell, like I select this, its name will appear in the name box. Now, this is column B3. It lies on column B, row 3. So, its name will appear in the name box, B3. So, that's how you select a cell. You just click on it to select it. And you can also choose to select a range of cells. Just click, then drag over the range of cells that you want to select, then release your mouse. So that's how you select a range of cells in Excel. Now to insert content, just click anywhere inside any cell that you want, then start typing. Then click enter and then go to the next cell and type something else. So that's how you enter content into a cell. And once you're done, you click enter. Then you might want to clear or delete the content in a cell. Just select the cell or cells that you want to delete. So I'll select these two. Then go to the clear command under home tab and select clear contents. Now the contents in those two cells will be deleted. That's how you delete or clear content in a cell. But you can also choose to delete um, a whole row or column. Just use the delete command. So let's say, let me undo this. So um, I'll type something else over here. Now I want to delete this. So this cell. So what I'll do is I'll select it, then go to the delete command, then just click on delete. And as you can see, the lower cell will shift up and replace the deleted cell. So that's how you delete cells in Excel. Now let's look at how to copy and paste cell contents. Now Excel allows you to copy content that is already entered into, into your spreadsheet and paste that content to other cells, which can save you time and effort. Just select the cell that you want to copy. So let's say I want to copy this. Then click the copy command under home tab. Then select the cell where you want to paste it. So I'll select this cell and click on the paste command and as you can see it will be copied from here and pasted over here so that's how you copy and paste in excel again you might want to cut and paste cell contents again just select the cell with the content that you want to cut and paste then click on the cut command under home tab then go to where you want to paste it and click on the paste command and it will be cut and pasted to wherever you want it to be. Now you can also drag and drop cells. Now instead of cutting, copying and pasting, you can drag and drop cells to move their contents. Just select the cells you want to move. So I'll select this one. Then hover the mouse until this icon appears. Then click and drag the cell to the desired location. So I'll drag it over there. And that's how you drag and drop in Excel. Now let's look at how to use the fill handle. Now if you're copying cell content to adjacent cell in the same row or column, the fill handle is a good alternative to copy and paste command. Just select the cell containing the content you want to use, then hover the mouse over the left, the right, the lower right corner over here, and then the fill handles will appear. Now this is the fill handle. Click and drag the fill handle to as many cells as you want. Then release the mouse to fill the selected cells. So that's how you use the fill handle to copy and paste very easily. Now you can also use the fill handle to continue a series. 
Um, whenever the content overall column follows a sequel order, like I uh, have one, two, three over here, next would be four, five, six, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on. The fill handle can guess what should come next in the series. So all you have to do is select the cell range that contains the series you want, then hover at the bottom right corner until the fill handle appears, then click and drag it out to as many cells as you want, then release it. And as you can see, it will update itself. You can still do the same to this one. I'll select these cells, then click on the drag the fill handle and then release it. As you can see, it will update itself. 